a sound suit by African-American artist Nick Cave. Wearable, oversized sculptures that obscure with pattern and color. Is the person inside black, white, male, or female? This particular sound suit was made in response to the murder of George Floyd. The wearer cannot be overlooked or devalued. Eleven black artists brought together in one exhibition, In the Black Fantastic. Using paint, film, sculpture, and textiles to address racial injustice. These artists are grappling with sometimes very difficult subjects, but many of the works in here are compelling and beautiful, mesmerizing works. There's no dichotomy here. The choice of these artists to embrace beauty is not about denying those difficult histories. The blurring of fantasy and reality to emphasize alternatives to the usual Eurocentric vision. You know, I'm talking about uh, universal ideas around blackness and how we as a mostly Western society have created uh, like a stigma around it. There's a lot of negative connotations associated with blackness, with darkness. Um, so I'm really trying to turn that on its head and, and create a, a different uh, viewpoint. These artists are disrupting traditional history, providing an alternative to the largely Western narrative of white supremacy and black subjugation. Using mythology, counter narratives, and fantasy, these artists show that race is a fiction, a socially constructed fiction with no scientific basis. The 11 artists are just a small sample of a far larger emerging conversation happening among writers, authors, musicians within the black creative community. The gruesome legacy of oppression is replaced by a new narrative of infinite possibilities in the way the black diaspora can construct the world. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.